Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. My name is Carrie Patel and I'm the game director for Peril on Gorgon, the first expansion to the Outer Worlds. Today we're going to be looking at some pre-release footage for one of our side quests. Love is the plan, the plan is death. Let's have a chat. All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. Good. Look up. Now look down. Thank you. Got him from my mother. You're doing swell. Now, name and occupation. Good enough for me. You're cleared to pass. That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. The ones who come back, they aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. First, they get real twitchy and paranoid, shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves, on account of how they soiled themselves. After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. Seen it happen myself. It's never pretty. Watch yourself out there. So this is the Sprat Shack. Now this looks like a real dive. Hey, I wonder if they got those floorboards that creak when a stranger walks in. Oh, ugh. This place smells like Felix's bird. And as you can see, uh, your companions have plenty to say about this, as well as many of the other discoveries you're going to make on Gorgon. This is a former supply depot that's now become a uh, sublight run bar and smuggler stopover, and it's also your hub for a number of side quests. Never had bars this nice. Got balconies and everything. Jerome would have loved this place. You don't look like one of the salvagers, no? Don't really seem like the type. You've got the look of someone who's traveled far to get here, and whose journey is far from over. Confidence. The scavengers around here, they're faking it. You're the real deal. I don't know if you're bound for the old runes, but in case you are, can you look into something? I'd do it myself, but of course, the marauders would eat me alive. <laughs> Um, looking for something out there. Been paying Sublight to help me, but they haven't made much progress. It is to me, but apparently it's junk to Sublight. My husband and I worked on Gorgon during the good times. Jerome was on maintenance duty. I cleaned out test tubes till they sparkled. No, we're good, that's for sure. In his final hours, Gorgon was a war zone. Violence broke out in the labs. The hills were full of marauders. You couldn't take a leisurely stroll without an armed escort. When the order came through to evacuate, non-essential personnel drew a lottery to see who would board the first wave of ships. Jerome won. I lost. As soon as I wasn't looking, Jerome switched our tickets and pushed me to the front of the line. I got to leave. Jerome stayed behind. I never saw him again. That Jerome always chose the right thing, even when it got him killed. This place is greedy. It took my Jerome, and it would have taken me too. I just want one thing back. His old hip flask. I gave it to him the day we signed our marriage contract, and he carried it wherever he went. I know it's still here. I appreciate it, stranger. I don't expect you to move the stars. Just keep an eye out and think of me from time to time. I don't have much, but if you help me, there's a little set aside for the occasion. Jerome used to drink with his buddies in a small kitchen opposite the maintenance shed. Might be a good place to check first. So Leonora and her husband used to work on Gorgon back in its heyday when Spacer's Choice was running a research facility here. And so her story is very closely tied to the larger story of Gorgon. What that really means will become clear as we explore the content. 
For now, we're going to head out and get our first look at the Gorgon Overlands. As with many side quests and tasks in the Outer Worlds, this is going to involve a mix of exploring a colorful but dangerous overland area, choosing between a mixture of combat and stealth to navigate the dangers, and making some choices about how we resolve things and how we present ourselves to characters. So as you'll hear in just a moment, we have some brand new music for Paralon Gorgon, something to help us accentuate the mood and uh, suggest some of the mystery and danger that you're going to find in this location. Now, this is your first look at the Gorgon asteroid. As you explore, you'll definitely get the sense that something pretty bad happened here. Something made a mess of this place. Watch your back Felix off. isn't wrong there. Finding out what that is will be uh, part of the story of the Gorgon Overlands. In fact, right here, we've got one of our first encounters, some marauders clustered around a downed ship. And we've got to decide whether to fight or sneak past them. Mm. We're going to fight. This is the PET, a pest extermination tool, one of our brand new science weapons. Yeah. Has grab plating on the base, which lets us pull enemies towards us. So that then we can slice them with this wicked flaming blade thing that we've got here. And right now we're fighting uh, some new Marauder variants that are specific to Gorgon. And uh, kind of who they are and how they got here is going to be part of the story of Gorgon that we'll experience as well. So you see this colorful spore grass? This is actually cover grass. When you see this, you can use this to sneak around enemies and encounters that you'd rather not fight. But for now, we're going to go up to an old worker's compound letting us explore some of the verticality of Gorgon. As you might have noticed back there as we were entering the transportation hub, if you looked up, you could see dungeons. You could see the glowing dome of the Synthesis and Manufactory Center, which is one of our central dungeons, as well as in the near distance, another dungeon that we'll visit earlier in the wow. DLC. This looks just like the advanced we want to help show players points of interest in the distance and encourage them to find interesting ways to get there and to explore the content. But for now, we're going to find Jerome's flask in this old worker housing area. A lot of this is very familiar to Parvati, who grew up in Edgewater, uh, which is also a Spacer's Choice area. Little place run and managed by Spacer's Choice, as the Gorgon asteroid used to be when it was a research facility, a working research facility. So this is the kitchen Leonora told us to go to. Just have to deal with these marauders first. And now we're finding not Jerome's flask, but a journal. So if we read through that, we'll see that something pretty disturbing happened to Jerome. So anyway, what happened to all these people? Not like they had anywhere to go. Good question. We'll be figuring out what happened to the people on Gorgon. But for now, we're going to focus on what happened to Jerome specifically. So to do that, we're going to follow the instructions in his journal to go up and find the apartment where he and Leonora used to live and hopefully we can get his flask there. And there it is. So we can take this back to Leonora to close out the quest. But first, let's take a look at something else pretty cool. So this is going to be our DLC's take on audio logs, which we're calling portable phonographs. You can find them scattered throughout the overlands and the dungeons, and including in this apartment up here. Kind of an analog wax cylinder recorder look. This is my second month on Adrena time. It's like the color came back. Like I was tuned to the wrong band all this time, and now the static's gone. I'm finally clear-headed, focused. There's so much I'm excited to do. I feel like me again. Side effects? I... I guess I've noticed people staring at me a lot more lately. Hard to talk to them sometimes. Feels like they don't get it. Maybe they just don't trust it. Or maybe they don't trust me. So the portable phonographs allow us to tell more of the stories of the people who used to live and work on Gorgon. And seeing as some, a number of things have happened to these people and most of them are no longer here, this is an important way for us to tell their stories and to tell them with life and character. But now we're going to head back to Leonora to uh, turn in the quest. And when we do that, we're going to have some decisions to make about what to tell her and how to interpret the information we found. You'll notice that before we found the flask, we also found a journal from Jerome that suggested that he changed in a pretty disturbing way. Whether or not we choose to tell her this and how we interpret that information is kind of going to be up to us. 
but note that it is possible for players to find the flask without finding the journal, including before they've ever talked to Leonora. So many of the options that we're going to have when we turn this quest in are reflective of the fact that we found additional information about Jerome, and now it's up to us to decide how much of that to, to tell Leonora. You find anything out there, you let me know. I'm ready to get off this rock. That's it, all right. Law. Oh, still smells like his whiskey, his cigarettes, and that awful cologne he bathed in every morning. Here. I saved up for this just in case I needed to go out into the ruins myself. Truth be told, I'm glad I never had to use it. You didn't happen to find anything else out there, did you? Here's where we decide what else to tell her. A marauder? You're telling me he's been alive all this time? Don't tell me that's the end of it. Was there anything else? Do you... Do you think one of them was my Jerome? I see. Thank you for telling me. Jerome got me out of Gorgon. I can honor his memory by staying out. Time to hit the dusty trail. Be seeing you, stranger. I don't think that's what you wanted to hear. But I'm glad you were honest. I think you did the right thing, Captain, but... I hope she doesn't try to go after him. And that's your first look at Paralon Gorgon. Hope to see you back here on September 9th. Thank you.